Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today, we're going to be setting this night cat hammock tent up. There is a part one to this video where I unboxed it, went through everything and what you get. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, there'll be an end card at the end of this video. Or there will also be a link in the description below. So you can check that out. Um, it's not in here. It's not in this bag because it's right over here and if you watch that uh, then you get more of an understanding but I want to do it in two parts to maybe explain it a little bit more so hang tight let's get into this video okay guys so last night I set it up as the ground tent this is a three-in-one hammock tent. You can use it as a regular hammock, you can use it as a hammock tent, or you can use it as a ground bivy. I'm sorry about the wind. I had this problem yesterday. It was uh, blowing all day long and um, all night and it's been blowing all day long today. Uh, it's going on five o'clock in the evening so and it's still blowing. So yesterday I put my wireless mic on that made it worse so if you watch that video sorry about that and if you're gonna watch that video <laughs> sorry about that so but what we got in here is the straps which I didn't use last night we got our little our little booklet and we have our straps are in here for the trees and we got these guy lines okay so and here's the straps now what i'm going to do i didn't do it last night i should have but i'm going to now i've never set this particular one up before so what i'm going to do is i'm going to time it and i'll let you know how long it took now i'll put you up here and i'll put you on time lapse so you can see what i'm doing um but then uh then you'll see exactly how long it takes like for my first try if you've ever set anything like this up they're usually not that difficult so uh yeah let's get into it okay here we go all right let's get this thing set up All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, now, if you want to use it as a regular hammock, you just spin it upside down and you're laying that part of it, okay? But, there you go. But we're not going to use it that way. We're going to use it as a hammock tent, so I'm gonna run over here, grab my poles or my yeah my tent poles. Now you may have to adjust them, like higher or lower, um, just depending. There's all kinds of you know adjustments on there you can make. So let me grab the tent poles. Okay, now we're gonna put our tent poles. They just run right through here. I like these uh, tent poles. Just go right along and through here. And there's a gap right at the very top. It comes through and then you put it through to the other side. Then there's a hole right there you're gonna slide that into. And same way with on this side. Just like that. 
Now we're going to put some guy lines on this because if you don't, you see it's going to want to turn. Okay? So let's put them on, let's put these poles on the other side now. Just like that. Now, of course, I'm going to lower it down. I always start these things out high because it's easier to lower lower them than it is to um, raise them up sometimes. So, but there you go. You can like let me lower this real quick. As you can see, you can sit in it. Just like this if you want. I still gotta lower it down. There. But as you can see, hopefully, if you want, you can lay in it like that. But we're not going to. So let me get my little tent stakes and my guy wires. And uh, we'll stake this down to where it'll stay straight up. Okay guys, first time setting it up, 17 minutes. It's pretty much done other than the rain fly. So, and I was doing a lot of adjusting and the more times you set these things up, the faster it'll go every time. So let's put our rain fly on there. As you can see, that's what the guidelines do. The guidelines, you know, keep it from turning because, you know, it's got the loops, the hoops here. Um, I seen a guy do this corner and that corner over there. I don't like that because you're still pulling one way and it's more flimsy on your opposite corners. This way it's a lot better. It's not really to staple you as much in the wind as it is to uh, just uh, just to keep it from, you know, when you get out flipping upside down. So, yeah, 17 minutes, 16 seconds. Now, remember, I'm setting up a camera, I'm moving the camera around and all that. So, if I didn't have to do that, it would probably be a lot less than that. So, let's put the, let's put the fly on it, the rain fly on it. We'll see how that goes. Just make sure that your doors are on the right side. <laughs> so if your door to the tent's on this side, that's where you're gonna want your door to this. For this, for your rain fly to be, so. And now I want to show you something. Under here, there's these little snaps. There's two little snaps. You just snap them together. You can leave them open if you need more ventilation, which I probably will tonight. I get hot real easy. And then you leave this dangling like that. In case it rains, I've heard guys call them donkey tails. I just call them drip lines. In case it rains, water will run down here, hit that, and then run down here. Also, you can tie it right here if you want for a little extra support. Okay, so let's go to the other side here. Snap that there. Snap that there. Then again, you can tie it up here if you want. This is all I did was just stretch that up to wherever it's 
and then you got this here that's how that goes that's your that's your pole that runs down you know over the top just stick them in them them little holes here you have velcro here to help keep the wind and elements out and over here this is how they hook on here this is just a just like a belt loop or a belt clip like that and then you can also pull on that and adjust it if you want there are also more ties up in here that you can tie like one there I think there's one up towards the top that you can tie out let's make sure we got this one right yeah looks like it it's pretty much done I think 10 or 12 minutes once I've done this a time or two I can have this set up in about 10 minutes probably so there it is now we'll open up the front and let's take a look inside And again, you can roll it up. These things, if you want, just gonna do that for now. And then once I set in there, remember that's gonna sag down, so that'll pull that tighter. So let me go ahead and get inside of this thing. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, all right, I like mine higher than this. So I'm gonna raise it up some more on each end. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. A lot more room in here too. Okay, so let me get out of this thing. See, I'm too low to the ground. And remember, the more farther away you are from trees the uh, the more it's going to sag down so let me get that raised up now as far as height on a hammock guys this just gets this here the netting just gets flipped over on top just like that rule of thumb on how high you want this to be they say no higher than you're willing to fall. Well, I'm not, I've never, I don't think I've ever fell out of one of these. I may have fell out of a regular hammock, but, <laughs> uh, see, I gotta get that fixed, hang on. I forgot to hook that back. But anyway, yeah, I've never actually had one of these, but I've had a lot of hammocks, and general rule is no higher than you're willing to fall. But like I said, the farther you are away from trees, the more that thing will sag. As you can see, it was pretty high, and I was only like two feet off the ground. That's too low for me. So let's get inside this thing. So what I do is I just get in it like I'm sitting in a chair. And then lay it out. get situated here holy cow there's a lot of room in this thing when it's up like this All right. yeah this is nice I like it guys I think monkey well she's gonna have me do it pull the truck around I think she's gonna do a solo so but yeah you know I mean pretty nice I like it. There's a lot more room than I expected. Because this is all above my head. You know, this is wide. 
then you got, you know, I mean, what? Two and a half feet up to the poles. Then you got your, your baggie there. Then you got your other baggie here. Put your things in. So, yeah. There it goes, I'm liking it. And then when I get out, I just do the same thing. I just put my leg over like this. See, and now we're sitting up. Yeah, pretty cool. All right. I think this is easier to get in and out of than my other one. Which, by the way, I think I'm going to do a giveaway on my other one, if you guys are interested. I will do a giveaway. Yeah, all right. Awesome, guys. So there it is. I'll be back with you guys here in a little bit. I, I guess she's going to want me to pull the truck right up into here. And then she's going to sleep in the back of the truck. Because I think she's going to do a solo camp out video. It'll be her first one. But, yeah. I mean, then, you know, you can adjust it however you want. You know, if you want it tighter, looser, higher, lower. You know, that's totally up to you. You know? I mean... I just, like I said, there's room for improvement on this thing. And one of them is this. Um, they got it too far. They don't have it far enough in. See what I'm saying? It's right on the edge of where this is. It doesn't make sense. You know, these should be about right here. I understand what they're going for. They don't want any leaks. But, I mean, from there to there. Okay, so... Yeah, pretty nice. The stitching's good, double stitching. Yeah, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good little setup. I like it so far. And like I said, as with anything, the more you use something, the better you'll get at it. So, let's step back here. I'll give you guys a better view of it. There it is. But, I'm 5'7". 5'8", depending on what liquor store I'm leaving. Um, but I usually go about four feet tall, four feet high. Uh, that's before I get in it. And then after I get in it, you know, it's going to drop down a couple feet. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, and the farther away you are from the trees, you know, these will give more. So, just keep that in mind. It's always going to be different. I mean, unless you're setting up in the same spot every time. Like, these two trees here would even be better. This one and this one here would have been better. But this is not our property right here. So, I mean, they, I'm sure they wouldn't mind. You know, <laughs> they, they said anytime we had to come through there or, you know, wanted to sit out here under the trees or whatever we could. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. But, yeah, that tree to that tree. So, but... It's fine. It's fine. I've even actually, uh, one time before I left Ohio and came down here, I had a hammock set up. And the only trees I had was like almost double this far apart. So I had to hang it real high. And I used two straps on each side to make it long enough. And I, I kind of climbed up the tree just a little bit to put them around the tree. And then when I got in, it was about normal. So... All right, guys, Oops. I don't know if I'm gonna use this thing tonight. I don't think I'll need to. I will need my pillow, but I don't think I'll need that in there. We'll see, if I put it in there, I'll let you know. Well, there's monkey solo overnight, or first time ever, huh? Yeah, I was telling them that you wanted me to do it in the driveway, and I hadn't gotten the courage to do it yet. So then when we came up with this, I was like, well, I'll sleep in the car, and you sleep in your your new tent so you can check it out. There's my tent. I planned on doing this at the campground, but that didn't work out. Okay. She's in the car. <laughs> We're in the car. Cute. And Bruno, he's happy. He's happy. You happy, bud? It's yeah. called adventure time. You happy? <laughs>
Never makes them happen. Okay, guys, I am tucked in. I don't know how well you can see that down there, but there's my feet. Getting ready to kick my shoes off. Um, here, let me do this for you. Yeah, get ready to kick my shoes off. I always keep my shoes inside with me because <laughs> down here in Florida, we have things that want to hurt you, like brown recluse spiders, coral snakes, and I don't want one of them crawling up in my shoes. And so they're always in the tent or hammock with me. There's plenty of room down there for them. I got my phone here. I'm going to watch some YouTube. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. Monkey's little, ah, you can't see it. Truck's right here next to us. So, if she needs anything, she can holler and I can bust out of here and go see what's going on. But, uh, feels like it's a little cooler tonight, which that's good. Because last night, I don't know if you've seen on my last video, man, the beads of sweat on my head. I was hot. <clears throat> so, I don't even have my pad in here. I don't think I'm going to need it in this thing you know unless it gets cold or something so uh so far i like it easy to set up you know 17 minutes next time i'll have it down to 10 minutes easy like i said you know filming moving the camera and that sort of thing <clears throat> yeah next time i can just pop it up and be done so all right guys i'm gonna watch some youtube and i'll see you guys in the morning good night okay good morning guys so how did it do? Excellent. Perfect. I did put my sleeping bag in there. Uh, perfect. I have no complaints other than these things should be over here a little bit more on both sides. You know what I mean? This one should be like you can't. How are you going to tie something up when it's the same length? It doesn't make sense. So these should be over in here. Okay, so that's, uh, that's something. I think they should tell you a little bit more in the instructions about it being a ground hammock or a ground bivy. But, I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but, um, yeah. Let me see. But those are two areas that that really need improving on because I mean that's you can't that thing there you just can't you know there's no way to because once you roll them up they pull in like so these don't really hold it up as you saw this one was out you know so yeah they need to do something about that but yeah enough room way more than enough room plenty of room so make sure i got nothing in there and uh setup was pretty easy 17 minutes first time ever setting it up and that was filming and everything pretty confident next time i'll have it down to uh 10 minutes I'm pretty sure of that. Feels durable. I don't know about the waterproof yet because it didn't rain, so. But it feels feels fairly fairly decent. I like it. I will give it a two thumbs up right now. I'll give it a, a four. I'm taking a whole star off just because something like this is very irritating, you know. So yeah. So I'll give it a four star and uh, two thumbs up. So yeah, there you guys go. Uh, I'll save you the hassle of taking it down. It's not really a hassle, it's just, you know, take it down, fold it up, put it in its bag. It's simple. So you've seen eight million people do that eight million times. So. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here because the stupid idiot neighbor over here has got his stupid music on again at 10 o'clock in the morning. But Monkey, she she went in at 5 o'clock this morning, so I, I got, out at, got out at 5.40. I got up, come out, had a cigarette, and 
I couldn't see in there. I was like, uh, yeah, she left. <laughs> she said she went in about five, so. All right, guys, before I get copyrighted, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you in the next one. Um, would I recommend it right now? Yeah, I would recommend it because there's a little, you know, little things like that. Um, you can't not recommend it for something like that, but I do think it needs improved on. Um, you know, that's kind of important when you try to get in. You have that flap, you know, falling down in front of you and stuff. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all be safe and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye, guys.